By the second last race of the Oz and Z combined Toyota GT86 championship, I'd basically given up. By the end of the season, I still hadn't worked out the hot to handle Toyota GT86 GT4, and I'd basically blown every single opportunity I'd had to do well. And in fact, coming into the Hockenheim race, I was actually running a setup, well, first of all, I actually showed up late to practice. Um, so in qualifying, I was actually using a setup that was designed for the next race at Bathurst as I couldn't even be bothered to make two different setups. But here's our lap in qualifying as we're just behind uh, Woody Lizard. Oh, and I should actually mention, uh, in the last video at uh, Monza, I did mention the fact that, you know, while I lost out one week, perhaps a greater win would be further down the line, but surely that wouldn't be this weekend, as I'd hardly put any effort at all into this. Um, so as we're going through our qualifying lap, this is of course the, the short uh, version of the Hockenheim track, and of course we have uh, both categories racing on the same, well, in the same lobby this week, because uh, the, neither category had the numbers to run two different lobbies by this point in the season, so I'm obviously in the AM category and uh, we're running on the same track as the pros this weekend. As we come into the final section of the racetrack, uh, we'll have to see what kind of lap time this is. So far, we are in a lowly 11th out of 14th place as we come to around the final corner. As you can see, it's been a bit of a scruffy lap time as the car isn't exactly working how we would really want to. As we come to the start finish straight, we'll see what kind of lap time we can set. It's already going to be slow, uh, and we move up one place into 10th place. However, we would actually drop further down the field once the session had come to an end. So Simo Racing, he qualifies on the pole, followed by Lockie Fives, Woody Lizard, Loft Vanish, Colonel Lloyd, Dark Racing 40, Shads, Highlander, Paro, and Gas rounds up the, off the top 10 with a few more in the minor placings in 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. And that is the end of qualifying, so we'll move on to the race. So here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's the second last race of the Oz and Z combined Toyota GT86 Championship. Here at Hockenheim, the lights go on and we go green at Hockenheim, let's see what kind of start we get. It's a better start than Metal Drive, and we already make our way up into 11th place overall as we begin to chase down gas, and we're going to have a look to the inside of Turn 1. Uh, but so far, it looks like everybody's gotten through cleanly as uh, I think that's uh, Paro running off the road just ahead of us uh, here, and Gas is going side by side with Paro, and we, we'll see if we can pick up any more positions. We're going to go round the outside of Gas coming into Turn 2, and it looks like we're going to make it stick at the start of the race, and it's been a brilliant start, making already making up a couple of positions, and we're running 10th overall as we begin to chase down the rest of the pack as we're go now going into the double right and let's see if we can make up any time any any positions here in the braking zone we're now on the back bumper of paro and we can see we'll see if we make up any more positions we get a better run out of the corner than paro and we're going to try and stick our nose down the inside let's see if we can do it we're later on the brakes on paro and we make a decisive move up into ninth overall now fast forward to the beginning of lap two and there's uh, it, it's the battle between uh highlander darky and shads at the moment uh for well, pretty much the midfield. Uh, Darky and Highlander appear to be going at it. Let's see if we can get past uh, Shad's going into the double right-hander. We're going to try it around the outside. It's a daring move. There's a bit of oversteer. We're still side by side, but Shad's defends the inside, and he'll hold on to eighth place overall. Now, uh, fast forward to the end of the second lap. Darky and Highlander appear to be going at it, and Shad's wants in on this as well. He looks the inside of Darky as we try and overtake, and that in turn covers us off as well. Shad sends it down the inside of Darky in a turn one. What a move that was up into seventh place. Let's see if Darky has anything to retaliate with as Dado's looking to join this battle as well. Dado looks the inside of us as Darky goes down the inside of Shad's. Dado absolutely sends it. Can he pull it up? Yes, he can. 
Dado up into ninth, into ninth place. And here we go. Metal Drive hang, having a look as well. We're going backwards at the moment. Let's hope we don't. But Metal Drive, oh, he loses the back end. And he's out of the battle for the time being as Darkie and Shads appear to be going at it at the moment. I think that's Darkie in the distance. Uh, they're side by side going into the double right hander. Dado wants in on this as well as Highlander runs wide. Oh, we're going to look to the inside of Dado. There's no space at all, but we get through. We're on the outside. Let's see if we can stick it around the outside. Uh, into the left-hander here. Doesn't look like we've got it, though, as we run off onto the curbs. Oh, we nearly spun it as well, and it looks like Paro is going to try and take advantage of that as well. Now, fast forward uh, later into lap three, and we had a bit of understeer and a bit of oversteer as well going through the uh, fast right-hander, and Paro takes full advantage. Going into the hairpin as there's a bit of contact, and he goes up into 10th uh, place overall. Uh, we're going backwards at the moment. This is not what we want to see. Now going into the final couple of corners. There was room and we absolutely took it going up into 10th place overall. What a race this is turning out to be so far. Excellent on track action. Now fast forward to the beginning of lap four. We get out onto the curbs and almost lose it. Paro, Paro takes full advantage as he uh, goes down the inside going up towards turn two. Oh, and Paro, it's very awkward. We didn't quite break enough and we ended up using Paro as a break. Um, and it's it's cost uh, me the position to gas. And I'll fast forward later on. Oh my goodness, Loft vanished. Uh, Shads and Ducky, they've run into trouble going into turn two. And that means we've, we've gained a load of positions as well. And I believe... Um, if we can get past Gas, I think it is, we're up into the class lead. Now, Paro and Gas, they're going at it again. We'll see if we can make up any positions as a result of this battle. It looks like we're going to try and pull it out on um, on Paro towards the, the double right-hander. Right and side. it looks like we might just drag by because we have the the uh, benefit of slipstream from Gas. But pa uh, Paro's right. still on the inside, but he looks at right. Gas right. as well. Uh, the room isn't quite there. However, let's see if we can try it around the outside of Paro. No, we can't because uh, Gas and Paro are forming a little bit of a moving roadblock at the moment however going to go down the inside of Paro into the left hander and that's up us up into eighth place overall and now we're going to try and dispatch of uh, gas uh, on, on lap nine and we're going to look to the inside into the breaking zone of the double right hander and we absolutely send it and we are up into seventh place with a bit of oversteer but we have um, secured the position now fast forward in, uh, later into lap 11 and we get a bit more oversteer going through the the fast right hander and gas is going to take full advantage of that sending it up the inside at the hairpin let's see if we can hold it around the outside no we can't as there's a little bit of contact there but uh, gas making a very clean move now let's see if we can retaliate into the last couple of corners Gas, oh, look at the understeer there. He's right off the track, and he, he runs off, and we are back up into seventh position. Let's see if has, he has anything to counter that with. Uh, maybe not for the, the time being as we uh, begin lap 12. Now, fast forward to well, later into lap 12, and it looks like the two teammates of Darky and Gas have caught up. Darky, he's going to have a look to the inside. Now, this is actually for the... Uh, class lead at the moment and Darky yeah. sends it down the inside into the fast right hand of Darky now the class leader uh Oh, sorry, Gas now the class leader. That's that's his teammate. Darky's behind us. Um, we'll see if we can get back up into the class lead. Let's see if we get a better run than Gas uh, coming into the last couple of corners. We're going to look to the inside. Is there is the room there? Gas, very respectful driving, but he runs oh, off the track again. And we're going to go up into that's the nice. class lead in seventh place overall. And it looks like Darky's going to try and take advantage of that as well as uh, we begin lap 13. Now, fast forward later into lap 13. Darky is now dispatched of gas as we run right in the um, in the double right-hander. And Darky's going to try for the class lead. He does have a one-second penalty, which I'm not aware of him of this yet. I haven't taken that into consideration, but this is still for the, the class lead. So as long as we can keep him at bay and we stay in at least second place, I will win this race. And we've run, run wide again. I think the brakes are beginning to overheat. And Darky's going to take advantage of that, but he's going to have the outside for this corner, which is not the ideal line at all. And we're going to hang on to the class lead and seventh place as uh, this is actually going to be the second last lap of the race. Oh, and our run is terrible. And Darky's going to take advantage of that. He's going to maybe try and make a move into the fast right-hander. Can he do it? We're going to try and hold it around the outside, but Darky, brilliant move down the inside, and is Gas going to try and exploit that as well? He had a look, but he doesn't do it, and it looks like Shads is back into the race behind us, getting past Gas, and Darky runs wide out of, the, out of the hairpin. Let's see if we can retake the glass lead. We're down the inside. There's contact, but we stay on the road. 
Darkie though, as we come towards the, uh, the the beginning of the final lap, Darkie does have a one second penalty, so if we can stay within a second of him, we will actually take the class lead. Obviously, I'm not actually aware of this at the moment, so I still think this is well and truly for position. So I'm going to try and probably push after Darkie as, as hard as I possibly can as we go through turn one. Now we're going to try and gain time on Darkie in this little braking zone here. We're on the brakes. And we're going to try, well, we had a look, but the, it obviously wasn't going to work. However, we did gain a little bit of time on Darkie in the braking zone. Let's see if we can reel him in on the straight. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to. However, this could be maybe one of the brave moves that we've so far pulled off. Uh, we're going to look to the inside of Darkie. We had a look, and we could have made it if he'd stayed a little bit wider, but ultimately it wasn't going to work. Um, Darkie's still holding the class lead, and he is defending for his life on the final lap here. Now going into the left-hander. Let's see if we can gain some time on him. Yes, we do. We're all over his back bumper, but this is the corner where we're slow, and we get oversteer again, and that's going to let Darkie get away. Now we just have to stay within a second of him to take the class win. Now going into the fast right-hander, we're actually catching up to the back of Highlander as well and on the run towards the hairpin let's see if we can stay within a second of Darky. are we better than him on the brakes maybe I think we're just about even we've got a couple of corners to go a little bit of oversteer that won't help our case now coming to the final two corners oh, we were looking inside just looking at basically any opportunity no matter how slim to get it but it looks like we have stayed within a second of Darky. And that means as we come to the line, Darkie gets there first, but we ultimately take the class victory, and that is absolutely superb. The prophecy from Monza holds true, and we add another win to our league racing collection. Simo Racing takes the overall victory, followed by Colonel Lloyd, Lockie Fives, Woody Lizard, Dado, and Highlander. Uh, then it's me in seventh place overall taking the class victory with Darky having to settle for second place with that one second time penalty. Then it's Shads and Gas rounding off the top ten uh, with a few more drivers in the minor placings. We'll see that in a moment. Now, actually, there was another race after this. However, I'm not going to show that uh, because it wasn't quite as interesting. And we'll see the full championship results in a moment. I should actually explain in that other race that I, I that my TV actually turned off. Um, halfway through the race while I was in second in class, which is very frustrating. But here we go. Uh, that's Paro, Metal Drive, and Loft Vanish rounding off the finishes. And what a race. I'm out of breath after that. So here are the championship results. In the Pro Championship, one, once the worst two races were dropped, Simo Racing 4 ultimately took championship honours, followed by Colonel Lloyd and Data Racer. And in the Open Championship, that was, of course, the one I was in. This is, of course, again, with the worst two races dropped. It was Dark Racing 40 taking a well-deserved championship victory, followed by Loft Vanish, and then by two points, myself in third place over Paro, and two points back from him was Metal Drive. It was amazingly close, and I think the only reason I ended up being third was one, because of the drop rounds, and two, because of my solitary race victory. Uh, after Metal Drive, it was Jetto, FRCA Shadow, uh, and Timmy and Statesman did not either complete a race or show up to a race. Now, of the races that I've shown you, it's been an awesome season. Oh, and one more thing to show you. Look at that. It's my certificate from the championship, which you can now actually see on my wall in the majority of my videos. Anyway, it's been an awesome championship, and this was actually the last league of the Oz and Z year for 2019. And if I stick to the order I have done so far, the next race that will be shown on this channel will be the Daytona 24 hours. Stay tuned for then. Anyway, uh, follow the TCR Instagram for all the latest and greatest motorsport news. Uh, also follow the Twitter page and the Discord server, as well as my own personal Twitter. Uh, please go check those links out. If you haven't already done so, go check out the boys at Oz and Z. Link in the description as well. Anyway, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.